Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Baking with Babbitt. I'm Jeff Babbitt, and today we are making dog biscuits, or what I like to call Babbitt biscuits. Also, a human could eat them too. If you're stuck in quarantine, that's alright. You've probably got these three ingredients at home. They are peanut butter. Everyone's got it. Hope you're not allergic. Sorry, I shouldn't use absolutes. Not everyone's got peanut butter. Maybe you keep that stuff far away from you. That's totally fine. This is old fashioned oats. You know this guy, everyone knows this guy. He's in your regular grocery store aisle or right now he's in that online shopping thing because we don't go to the grocery store. This is oats blended up, blender style into oat flour. You can just use oat flour, either work. Probably got it at your house. I don't know if there's an oat allergy. And then we got bananas mashed up into a pulp. It's one cup or two bananas. You're gonna combine the three of those. Presto. By the way, for you start preheat your oven at 350 degrees, so it's ready to go. A smash and twirl is a good technique in painting and in combining bananas and peanut butter, especially for dog biscuits. This is called the smash and twirl. Yep, yep. Once you smash and twirl the bananas and peanut butter, you're going to add your oat flour. And continue to mix you want a sticky dough that you can roll out well? Ooh, nervous time. Always keep your extra utensils in your apron. Obviously, this is a big with Babbitt apron. Again, you can get down on Wix.com. Maybe not Wix. Zazzle. Wix is a website thing. You can make your website on Wix. Free ad, you're welcome. Keep your utensils in your apron. I got a ladle, I got a heart shaped cookie cutter, and then I got a fork just in case. Remember to switch hands while mixing so you keep your arms evenly toned, especially on tough materials such as these. You can really tone one arm more than the other, and you don't want to look lopsided. If you're going to use a surface with nothing on it, make sure to flour your surface so that your dough won't stick to it, or you can use a baking sheet or wax paper so that the dough does not stick. Also, having some flour on your hand will help the dough not stick to your hand. So I uh, got my Twitter feed here, and Someone asked from the audience, they asked, what has been the toughest thing during quarantine and also what has been a cool thing about quarantine that I've either learned or learned about myself or you know, been able to do? You know, 30 some, 40 some days, totally alone, so I'm gonna go pretty crazy. Luckily I got two dogs, so that's probably the toughest thing, a lot of days alone in the house. The cool thing is, uh, I've had a lot of time to learn some stuff. I've got the Adobe Creative Cloud whole suite and I've just been trying out all the different apps and learning how to draw, animate, illustrate, Photoshop, everything, and I've gotten pretty moderately decent or okay at those things, a couple of them, and I've been having a fun time doing that. When you've got 24 hours a day where you're not doing absolutely anything because there's nothing to do, you can get pretty decent at some things, so I encourage everyone out there to get decent at something during this time. I know I've gotten decent at a couple things. You get decent at baking. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna make myself. I'm probably gonna eat a lot of these dog treats myself. Stuff, you know, it's kind of hit that point. But, but also, I have two dogs, and they'll eat some of the treats. But most of them will probably go to me. But I encourage everyone to make some dog treats at home. Give them your dogs. If you don't have dogs, you can be like me and just eat the treats yourself. So anyway, I've uh, I've been rolling out this dough on flour so it doesn't stick. It's still sticking a little bit. There's some peanut butter in there. We all know peanut butter is a sticky substance. But We've rolled it out pretty well. We've got it to a thickness that we like. So it's about to be, we're about to be cutting them out with this wonderful heart shaped cookie cutter because we all love dogs. I love dogs. If you don't love dogs, I don't love you.
After about 15 minutes, you're gonna take them out of the oven. They should be a nice golden brown. <laughs> Let's check them out. Oh, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to episode three of Baking with Babbitt. And next week, we'll be bringing you episode four, Baking with Little Babbitt, that's me. Babbitt, but a little bit smaller, just a little bit. Anyway, I'm a marionette. Don't confuse me for a doll or I'll slap you. Just like that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See you next week on Baking with Little Babbitt. Check my apron out on Zazzle.com. Love that site. Get all your aprons and other things and needs from that website.